Petroleum coke is a carbonaceous solid delivered from oil refinery cocoa units or other cracking processes. Coking processes that can be employed for making petch coke include contact coking, fluid coking, fluxa cooking and delayed coking. Other coke has traditionally been delivered from coal. This coke can either be fuel grade or anode grade. The raw coke directly out of the coca is often referred to as green coke. In this context, green means unprocessed. The further processing of green coke by calcining in a rotary kiln removes residual volatile hydrocarbons from the coke. The calcined petroleum coke can be further processed in an anode baking oven in order to produce anode coke of the desired shape and physical properties. The anodes are mainly used in the aluminium and steel industry. Petch coke is over 90% carbon and emits 5 to 10% more carbon dioxide than coal on a per unit of energy basis when it is burned. As petch coke has a higher energy content, petch coke emits between 30 and 80% more CO2 than coal per unit of weight. The difference between coal and coke and CO2 production per unit energy produced depends upon the moisture in the coal and volatile hydrocarbon in coal and coke. Marketable coke Marketable coke is coke that is relatively pure carbon and can be sold for use as fuel, or for the manufacture of dry cells, electrodes, etc. Needle coke, needle coke, also called acicular coke, is a highly crystalline petroleum coke used in the production of electrodes for the steel and aluminium industries and is particularly valuable because the electrodes must be replaced regularly. Needle coke is produced exclusively from either FCC decant oil or cold tar pitch. Catalyst coke is coke that is deposited on the catalysts used in oil refining, such as those in a fluid catalytic cracker. This coke is impure and is only used for fuel. Fuel grade coke, fuel grade coke is classified as either sponge coke or shot coke morphology. While oil refiners have been producing coke for well over 100 years, the mechanisms that cause sponge coke or shot coke to form are not well understood and cannot be accurately predicted. In general, lower temperatures and higher pressures promote sponge coke formation. Additionally, the amount of heptane and solubles present, and fraction of light components in the coke earth feed contribute. While its high heat and low ash content make it a decent fuel for power generation in coal-fired boilers, Petroleum coke is high in sulfur and low in volatile content, and this poses environmental problems with its combustion. To meet current North American emissions standards, some form of sulfur capture is required. A common choice of sulfur recovering unit for burning petroleum coke is the SNOx flue gas desulfurization technology, which is based on the well known WSA process. Fluidized bed combustion is commonly used to burn petroleum coke. Gasification is increasingly used with this feedstock. Calcin petroleum coke, calcin petroleum coke is the product from calcining petroleum coke. This coke is the product of the cocoa unit in a crude oil refinery. The calcin petroleum coke is used to make anodes for the aluminium, steel and titanium smelting industry. The green coke must have sufficiently low metals content in order to be used as anode material. Green coke with this low metals content is referred to as anode grade coke. The green coke with too high metals content will not be calcined and is used for burning. This green coke is called fuel grade coke. Desulfurization of petch coke, petroleum coke is no longer a leftover by product of a euro oil at bottom of the barrel at euro refinery operations whose chief aims are the production of other materials. Petch coke has become a valuable product in its own right and the demand for high-quality low-sulfur coke is increasing. However, more coke with high sulfur content is being produced, and means whereby such sulfur content is reduced to an acceptable level or eliminated altogether record for, in particular with the ever-tightening restrictions on sulfur oxide's emissions for environmental considerations. The desulfurization of petch coke involves in general the desorption of the inorganic sulfur present in the coke pores or on the coke surface and the partition and removal of the organic sulfur attached to the aromatic carbon skeleton. The desulfurization techniques proposed fall generally under these headings, 1, 1 solvent extraction, 2 chemical treatment, 3 thermal desulfurization, 4 desulfurization in an oxidizing atmosphere, 
5. Desulfurization in an atmosphere of sulfur-bearing gas. 6. Desulfurization in an atmosphere of hydrocarbon gases. 7. Hydrosulfurization. Storage, disposal, and sale, nearly pure carbon, pech coke is a potent source of carbon dioxide if burned. Petroleum coke may be stored in a pile near an oil refinery pending sale. One example, as of 2013, was the large stockpile owned by Koch Carbon near the Detroit River which was produced by a Marathon Petroleum refinery in Detroit which began refining bitumen from the oil sands of Alberta in November 2012. Large stockpiles of pech coke also existed in Canada as of 2013. China and Mexico were markets for pech coke exported from California to be used as fuel. As of 2013 the EPA was declining permits to use pech coke as fuel in the United States but markets existed in India and Latin America where it was used to fuel cement manufacture. As of 2013 Oxbow Corporation, owned by William I. Koch, was a major dealer in pech coke, selling 11 million tons annually. See also, coke, delayed coca, list of CO2 emitted per million British thermal unit of energy from various fuels, Tar, video and photos from Pech Coke, references, 1, Desulfurization of Petroleum Coke, a review, Hassan Al-Haj Ibrahim and Badi I. Morsi, Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research, 1992, 31, 1835-1840. External links, IUPAC definition of various forms of solid carbon. BP info on how calcium petroleum coke is produced. Picture of CPC cooler